Breaking news. DSS declares Sunday Igbo wanted after taking away guns and three million naira during house raid. Yoruba Nation activist Chief Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Igbo, has been declared wanted by the DSS, Department of State Services. According to a press statement released by the security agencies on Thursday, operatives have raided Sunday Igbo's Soka residence in Oyo State where a bloody gun gun battle ensured. The raid was said to have led to the death of two guides and injures an injury story of both sides with twelve individual wrecked away from the house to Abuja by the DSS. According to the press statement, Sunday Ibu's house was raided based on inter- intelligence reports the agencies received on stock on stock billing of arms. The statement read in the early hours about one oh thirty four hours of today being the 2nd July 2021, a joint team of security operatives raided the residence of Sunday Adeyemo Igbowu, aka Sunday Igbowu, as Soka Ibado, or your state. This was based on intelligence that he had stock bills arms in the place on approach. To the residents, the team came under heavy gun gun attack by nine men suspected to be Igbo's guides. Six of them were armed with an AK-47, and three others with pump action rifles. In the course of the exchange, two of Sunday Igbo's armed men were gunned down, while the rest were subdued and arrested. Only one operative who was shot by the assailants on his right on his right hand sustained injury. He has however received medical attention and he is very stable now. As we speak, the DSS proceeded to list all that was recovered from the activist house, which includes seven AK forty seven assault rifles, three pumps action guns, 30 fully charged AK-47 machines, magazines, and 5,000 rounds of 7.62 mm ammunition, five cutlasses, one jack knife, one pen knife, two pistol holsters, one binoculars, one binoculars, a wallet containing five US dollars in one dollar denomination, local and international driver's license in his name, ATM card, a gun, a German resident permit number bearing his name, and two whistles, fifty five cartridges, it's in walkie. Stockies, three voodoo charm, jackets, traditional body armor, two laptops, one tishuba and one camp 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 campok, and its international passport and those of many others as displayed here. Further exploitation and forensic analysis are ongoing. The DSS also noted that about 30 suspects, including 12 males and females, were also arrested and brought to Abuja. 12 of the suspects were paraded during the press conference. The statements read and explained that the press and the conference, press conference was to inform Nigerians and the world that Sunday Ibu and his group in the course of a campaign 
for self-determination had become well armed and determined to undermine and determined to undermine public order. These arrests and seizures are no doubt a confirmation of a grand plan by Sunday Ibu and his cohorts to wage a violent assuration across against Nigerian states. A large foreign mission and licensing authorities within and outside Nigeria about this development and the possibility that Sunday Ibu will declare some of his personal permits and identity card missing in order to missing in order to seek their replacements. A phrase take orders that the five AK forty seven assault rifles recovered from the building are suspected to be those collected by Sunday Igbo's men from Nigerian customs and immigration personnel at the Roku Ogun State. It added that the gun deal which lasted for an hour offered Sunday Igbo the chance to escape and Sunday Igbo aka Sunday Adiyemo aka Sunday Igbo is now on the run. Igbo may run as far as he can. He may hide as long as he wants. He might have attacked security operatives as his strength carried him. But this will be the end of his, his Chanagians. Soon he will not have a hidden place. His strength will be sure fail him. And the law will catch up with him. And the law may be slow, but it will be steady. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. But come to think of it, what really did Sunday Igbo do to these people that will warrant them to read his house like this? Like, I, I warrant them to read his house like they have just done and kill his people. You can imagine what has he done to them? Has he will kill anyone that he should be wanted? So, viewers, the take on this news will be very much appreciated. I would urge you to drop your comment below the comment box.